In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use post routes to open up the middle of the field for you and even the sidelines in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And one of the ways we do that is through posting daily videos right here on my YouTube channel that share with you different ways that you can improve both on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball. So if you have not subscribed yet, it's completely free to do so. All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And if you want YouTube to let you know whenever one of our new videos comes out all you got to do is turn on the notifications you do that by basically clicking the little bell icon right next to the subscribe button and you can turn on the notifications as you would like them now for those of you that don't know i have been running gun bunch for the better part of the last 10 years actually when i first started getting started in madden i started in the west coast playbook and eventually graduated into the gun bunch and so my latest ebook is all about the gun bunch out of the new york jets playbook because i believe it is the best gun bunch right now in the game now in today's video like i said i'm going to be sharing with you a uh, a setup out of this bunch trail uh, which the bunch trail formation or the bunch trail play is i think one of the more forgotten plays out of the out of the gun bunch but it's actually one of the more important plays uh, in my opinion so what we're going to do to start here is i'm going to put my hook curls on five yards it's kind of a standard way that a lot of people like to defend bunch i'm going to put my curl flats on 25 and my flats on five as you can see right here those are my coaching adjustments and then what i'm going to do is i'm simply going to set the audibles here the mic blitz three and the cover four show two so that we can access all of the coverages that we need to be able to access uh, to be able to cover this now like i said if you want to get my gun bunch ebook there it will be a link in the description i'll also try to put a link in the comment section so that you can easily access that now you can get my full gun bunch ebook for literally just 15 bucks that's all it is to get the ebook um, and it literally walks you through step by step how to beat every single coverage in the game um, and what basically you know you're going to go against as far as a meta style of defense how they're going to attack you and Kind of the counters to some of those things okay guys so let's first and foremost go over the bunch trail against the man-to-man -man coverage better now there's obviously with bunch one of the cool parts about it one of the cool features about it in my opinion is there are several several ways that you can set this this formation up okay there's not just one way to skin a cat you can do a lot of different things so um first and foremost here what i like to do on this in particular play as I actually really like to keep the corner route to Devontae Adams. Part of the reason why I like to keep that corner route is because that corner route is going to open up space over that middle of the field for me to be able to hit that post route. The next thing that I like to do on this play is I like to take my running back and put him on a wheel route. Um, I actually really like a wheel route in this situation. If you have a hot route master and you want to use a table route, you can, but I personally really like uh, the wheel route for this because again, we're trying to open up space. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take the circle receiver here, Tavon Austin, and I'm going to put him on a five yard out route, just a little quick out route right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually motion him all the way to the outside and kind of snap just before he sets. Now this motion snap is not going to be good against man, but it's actually going to be very effective when we start to dive into some of the zone coverages. Now the beautiful part about this offense uh, or about this play specifically when you're talking about man to man coverage is this tight end route will almost always get open. It is very difficult to guard, especially if you're a user, you see that little trail route comes and you can possession catch that for a quick little game. Another thing that you can do off of this is you can also um, you can also throw the route early. So for example, let's say that you, you know read this real quick, you can just snap throw to the tight end quick and as you can see here he's there's going to be a window now getting him to react is a little bit trickier uh said than done but basically if you work on your timing a little bit you can basically snap and throw this just right there as you see for a quick little game now the beauty of this is if they go to zone coverage that flat route or that out route that we're running to the circle receiver is going to open up space for us to be able to attack with this little trail route i think trail routes are probably one of the most forgotten routes this year i'm not quite sure why because they're very good against man and they're actually also really good against zone coverage as well 
Now on the left side here, what you're gonna see is this post route will about will beat man for the most part, okay? Especially with the lack of one step ahead now in Madden Ultimate Team, this post route is actually going to be start uh, becoming more popular. You're gonna see more people using this little skinny post as long as you smart route that route. Um, that will typically beat that man-to-man -man coverage. You can see right there, he just cuts inside and the gunslinger ability is able to pass lead him open. Now, the rest of the routes on this are not particularly great um, against man coverage. One of the things you can do if you want to is you can smart route the route to the R1 receiver. You're gonna notice that he's gonna go uh, a little bit shallower. This will help him a little bit against man-to-man -man coverage. But again, if that guy wins the press, um, he just doesn't, you see here, I mean, he just doesn't get open. As you can see, he's not a great read against man-to-man -man coverage. He's really more, I think, a better option for you against zone coverage okay and we'll go over that in just a minute but and then also the route to table on austin now uh, one thing you can do with table on austin if you want to and this is if you're really trying to learn or really trying to beat me in coverage when he cuts to the outside right there he will sometimes get open as long as it's a 10 yard out route so five yard out routes he doesn't quite get open as much but you'll see here that if i smart route this route and then let's say maybe i do a little flat route to Devonte, something like this right here which there's nothing wrong with this combination you can certainly do this you'll see that that out route he does a, a little bit better of a job now the acrobat obviously does a good job as well at getting out there and making a play but that out route is something that you can also you know look to, to try to implement the wheel route does not get open to the running back uh, against man-to-man -man coverage. As long as they have that manned up, they should be good. And so if you wanted to, one of the things is, let's say you know they're in man-to-man -man coverage. If you know they are in man-to-man -man coverage beyond a shadow of a doubt, I would put that running back on an option route. As you see here, he's gonna turn into an out route every single time. And it's a very, very easy way to be able to uh, manipulate that man-to-man -man coverage. Okay, just simply put him on an option route. It's the easiest, easiest man beater I can teach you how to gun bunch. Okay, now let's go over some zone. The first zone we're gonna go over is that cover three meta. Um, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna call that Mike Blitz three. We're gonna kind of use her over here on this left side. We got that right side really dialed in with that Mabel coverage. Now what I want you to do is I want you to, I want you to watch this little post or this little trail route right here. As you're gonna see, he's gonna come up into the middle of the defense in a nice little tender area. Most of the time he's gonna, I mean, he's gonna be open against zone. Really the question is, are they gonna use or defend him or not? And I will tell you, in my experience, they typically don't. Uh, they typically actually will leave him alone. They won't use her um, that route. Now, if they do use her that route, then you're gonna have some other things that are gonna open up on this play. So you're gonna see here that if they use her that route, again, we wanna make sure that we're smart routing the square receiver, but right when he cuts inside, we can basically hit him with a low ball. As you can see right there against zone coverage, it's a very clean and crisp little read for you to be able to hit. Now, as far as the other side of the field, as far as man, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, cover three zone, this circle receiver on this little five yard little out route here, he will sometimes get open, but it is a little bit of a, it is a little bit dicey, okay? I'm not gonna lie and, and tell you it's not. You need to kind of pay attention, okay? If they're not playing hard flats out there, if they're not playing the hard flats, then he'll get open every time. If they are playing hard flats, he doesn't really always get covered. You see if I can get him out here enough. Now right there, he did get played. As you see right there, he got played. But what you'll also notice is, let's say that I run the same defense, but this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the circle receiver on a flat route. The flat route gets out there a little quicker and you can just snap throw that if you wanted to. As you see, he's off to the races. It forces him to have to play some type of Tampa two. That's another option that you can use on this is you could simply put the circle receiver on a flat and then you basically just motion him out. Now he's not gonna have a prayer at beating man man, but he will do a good job against the hard flats and things like that. As long as it's not a Tampa two hard flat, he's gonna be in a pretty good position. Obviously if it's, if it's a Tampa two hard flat, we'll show you that right here. Then your R1 receiver should do a fairly decent job. So you can implement this little flat if you wanna try it out. You see, he does a really good job of pulling the zone. Um, and then obviously you have a window to hit Devontae Adams there. I got a little throw out of sack. Thanks to good old practice mode sheds. But let's talk a, a little bit more about cover two. And this is why I really like this play. To be honest with you, this is really what attracted me to this play. This trail route and skinny post combination here. 
you're gonna see here that against cover two, especially if they're shading underneath or they're having underneath zones, it's gonna be impossible for them to use this, okay? The other thing that you'll notice is this trail route will do a really good job at basically outrunning the zone coverage. Okay, almost every zone coverage, this trail route will uh, get open against, whether it's early, see here, not early, but if we wait on it, wait on it, wait on it, you see that he's just gonna keep running all the way to the sideline for a nice little dot. That's one of the beauties of Bunch Trail. It's not a, it's not just a route they can use her and then jump to the post. It's something they have to stay on, which in turn is going to make that post that much more wide open for us to be able to hit that, okay? So that's the idea and that's the logic behind this play now let's talk a little bit briefly here about cover four so uh, against cover four in, in specifically cover four i like to leave that running back on that option route that we talked about from man-to-man -man coverage and this doesn't work against everything here but what you'll see here is this square receiver actually does get played up the field there um if you put this if you put the r1 receiver which is that slot if you put him on that on like a curl so you see something like basically like this right here, a combination like this, maybe what I would probably do is something like that. If you if you ran something like that against cover four, and I've talked about this a little bit before, this should get over the top of a cover four D um, because that hitch is what it's gonna do. It's gonna hold him. You see that those routes hold him very nicely. And then Rogers with that great throw power is gonna be able to over, over top uh, a one play touchdown against cover four so anyways guys that's the bunch trail if you want to get the full gun bunch offensive ebook it's available for literally just 15 dollars in the description of this video thanks for your time i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll be looking forward to hanging out with you guys tonight on the live stream we stream every night at 10 o'clock p.m eastern once again if you want to get that gun bunch ebook it is in the description